asking questions upon questions. Out of love and sometimes out of anxiety. Like, am I telling you this? Because you're wondering, your son, where are they? Where are they? A brother was speaking this morning and he said, every black male is a target because the majority of the black ones here, African Americans, maybe the records are not very straight, but you that your, your parents are like, you know, training you well, you're focused with your studies, you want to be a doctor, you want to be, every woman will want you, don't you think so? Every woman will want you, and how many of you are here? Compared with all the ladies in this in the, in the country, praise the Lord. So as a parent, sometimes you are like worried. Be careful, don't do that, don't do this. But the Bible says, be careful for nothing. It says, but in everything, through prayers, supplications, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. God knows we know how to pray. He knows we know how to bombard heaven. He knows that we have we have been trained to pray all manners of prayer. He says, I know you can pray, so, but add thanksgiving to your prayer. Add thanksgiving to so that your prayer can make sense. It says, it is when you do this in verse 7, what does verse 7 say? When you have thanksgiving to your prayers, verse 7 says something, and the peace of God, please give it to me. That's what passes all human understanding will keep your hearts and minds to Christ. There is a peace called fragile peace. But the peace that God gives you, it passes all human understanding. And people ask you, you are still bubbling. You have not paid your rent. You are still coming to serve the Lord. And you are going through this huge thing. Oh, your child is having this challenge. And you are still happily serving God. People are wondering, with all of the things you are going through, oh, your husband is misbehaving, your wife is misbehaving, and you are still so serving the Lord like this, People are wondering, how are you coping? How are you coping? It is because of the peace of God that supersedes all human understanding. How does that peace come? It comes when you, when you, when you, when you mix your prayers with a lot of thanksgiving. And I tell you, that thing is not just the one you offer with your lips alone. Sometimes you, you give some very funny sacrifices that are like, wow, this is crazy. And I pray for someone here. God is going to step into your matter in a unique way in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because you have been praying. You have been giving thanks. You have been sowing seeds. God says it is time for your harvest. It is time for your harvest. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lastly, all of time, your praise takes you to where God resides. Your praise, your thanks living life takes you to where? Where, God where does God reside? In the heaven. In the heaven. I tell you, he resides in the heavens. So I tell you, he also resides in the praises of his people. Amen. Amen. Psalm 22 verse 3 says that he resides in the praises of Israel. So why you want to know where God resides? Praise the Lord. But thou art holy, O thou that in a bit that dwells, that resides in the praises of Israel. So if you want God to reside with you, I tell you, create that room for him. Psalm 100 verse 4 does it say, Psalm 100 verse 4 said, I will enter its gates with what? With thanksgiving. So the key to where God lives, to keep to God's house, the key has a code. It has a password. And that password is thanksgiving and praise. Amen. So for you to access where God resides, you need to give him thanks and praise. With the whole of your heart. And I tell you that as you enter into where God lives, even me, I'm a, I'm a human being. I, I don't like when people come to my house and they don't go with something, no matter how small, no matter how little. I feel when you come to my you should be able to go with it, even if it is small, even if it's a meat pie or a fish roll. Praise the Lord. Or a puff. Praise the Lord. Anything. How much more Heavenly Father that says the heavens and the earth belongs to him. The heaven is his throne. 
and the heart is exposed. He said that the, the nations of the earth, they are like a, they are, they are like a drop in a bucket. He says they are even like a, a little dust on a scale. He says underneath are his everlasting arms. The God that inhabits eternity. He said he's checked for the heavens as a cut. He says silver and gold are mine. Praise the Lord. So if you not decide to welcome him into your house, he resides with you, you would never be empty. Yeah. I didn't hear your amen. amen. You would never be empty. Amen. All God is saying is that increase your intensity of thanksgiving, your praise, your increase it. Tell your neighbor, increase it. Increase it. Increase it. And what I realized also, as I close, is that there is no way you will live a life of thanksgiving and you'll be complaining. It is not possible. Thanksgiving is positive. It is an action word. People who complain a lot, I tell you, they don't appreciate. Because what you, I'm not saying you should be a mediocre. No. But there is a way you can make your, your, your request about something and it's going to be positive. It's not going to hurt people. Praise God. If, if, if as a church, we make our minds to be thanksgivers, okay? To give thanks in all things. Thank God for your brother, your sister, your pastor, your minister, your the children, the teachers. The God. Uh, this church will be in fact to be heaven on earth. Make that decision today. That rather complain, I will give thanks. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Not not thanking the person, but thanking God for the person that you see that you see is not doing so well. And as you begin to do it, you'll be so amazed. You'll be so shocked. What will happen? I, I, I encourage us today, children of God, as we go on in this service, we're going to be dancing. As we dance, we take our offerings. It's just about 10 minutes, but let, that, let God see that dance and say, oh, this, this my child is, as, uh, you know, needs something from me, and I'm going to give it to him or her. Praise the Lord. Because it is in our praising him that God is glorified. He allows those to do that. There will be room for us to give him thanks at all times. And I pray for somebody here, as you dance today, the Lord will minister to you. The Lord, he, please, as I pray for you, please be saying anything. If not, I will drop this mic and go and sit down. As you dance this hour, the Lord will make a way for you. The Lord will bless you, open new doors for you, grant your heart desires, give you the grace to be a praiser at all times. In the name of Jesus. And every door you are knocking, as you dance to him this hour, my Father will open unto you in the name of Jesus. And he will also show you mercy in every area you have made complete. Complaints in the name of Jesus. I'm not saying don't complain. Remember, let me give you a story before I round up. There are two, this, this, they call them the Zelophea daughters, seven of them. There was a time they went to Moses and said, Daddy Moses, or Pastor Moses, or Minister Moses, or Prophet Moses, our father died out of his own errors. We are his daughters, and we realize that somehow we don't have our, what, our entitlements. What are we going to do about it? They went to him constructively. And then Moses said, okay, no problem. I'm going to go to God and ask him. Whatever it is, I'll let you know. Moses went back to God. Meaning that even as a leader, you don't know everything. Did you hear that? As a leader, as a father, you don't know everything. Some of us have answer to every question. Even your morning devotion. At sometimes your child might raise the question. You don't have to answer. If you don't know it, tell it. Tomorrow will continue. Tomorrow will continue. Don't always give an answer because you have to. And it's when and God said, Don't worry, go give them their inheritance. And because of the manner they approached Moses with humility and with submission and with respect, God said, Because of them, the laws of the land changed in their favor. So even if you're a man, you have only girls, your girls will inherit your you take your inheritance. Praise the Lord. That is a lesson for us. Approach God with humility. Make your request known with humility. Amen. And you will have testimonies in the name of Jesus. Shall please rise to our feet. Father, we thank you. I want us to get the offering um, envelopes to everybody in the house this morning, afternoon, so that we can really, really dance and dance and dance to the glory of God's name. I want us to really dance. I want the choir upstage, please. And I want you to give us some very danceable songs. Where is our God is waiting for you, waiting for you to celebrate him. Praise the Lord.